Hey guys, welcome back to Boxer Gaming and Tech It. So today I'm going to show you how to make this thing. So this is very similar to the Blaze Rod EMC generator that I made earlier, except this uses bones instead of um, Blaze Rods. So it's a lot easier to make at start. It, you know, it's just a lot cheaper. Um, of course, it's not as efficient, but it's still pretty good. So let's uh, let's get started straight away. Uh, let's first look at this one, see how it, how it works. So if you've seen my Blaze Rod tutorial, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, we have got a, an energy condenser here that's making bones. We've got a filter that's pulling out the bones and putting it into this macerator here. Now I've just upgraded the macerator so it goes a bit faster so it's easier for you guys to see. Um, so this macerator is producing a bone meal from these bones, as you can see. This filter is pulling out all the bone meal. You can maybe do it with a transposer, but I'm not sure if it's fast enough because uh, filters pull out whole stacks. Uh, so this filter pulls out the bone meal and puts it back into the same energy condenser here. And then that gets made into bone meal. Now the way, or actually why this works is because bone meal is, um, for every bone, I think you get five bone meal and that's worth more than a bone. So you pretty much create more EMC than you lose by macerating the bone. So eventually this will overflow and I've just sped up the process a little bit and all the extra bone meal will go here and as you can see it's making diamonds. Pretty cool. Now this looks uh, a bit massive and the same with the blaze rod generator um, you can make it a lot smaller so I've done that right here. So this is the exact same as there. Uh, don't look at this beautiful beautiful pink wool jacket of cables. <laughs> uh, but the same thing so energy condenser here it's making bones from bone meal. This thing is pulling out bones into the macerator here and the filter here is pulling out the bone meal and back into the condenser. Uh, now the only thing I haven't done here is pull this out to a second condenser that's making diamonds. Uh, but that's how small you can make them. I mean, you can line them up so you can make one here, another one here in these two blocks. Uh, so it's two by three by the way total, two by three. So you can make another one here, another one here, another one here, so you can make many of them. And they're not that bad for lag either, they're pretty good actually. Okay, so how do we make one? What do we need? Uh, so I made a simple power setup here, you know, so that's definitely, you need, you need power for this. Not too much, uh, depending on how fast and how many you want to run, of course. Uh, so I'm not going to bother with the power stuff, you know how to do that. <clears throat> okay, what else do we need? We need two filters. We need two energy condensers. And this is just for a basic setup with one bone, mill, a bone generator. This one. So two condensers, uh, some redstone tubes, depending on how small you want to make it. If you make it as small as that one, you probably only need about 10 tubes total. We need a macerator. We need some bones, bone meal, some alloy wires, and some jacket wires. Now these two, you don't have to have them. You can also just use redstone dust. That works. Uh, but this looks nicer, I think. And we need a timer. Now if you don't know how to make any of those, Go check my other tutorials. <laughs> That's not the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, I explained this many, many, many times. So, how do we start? Well, we start by placing the macerator. Now, the macerator accepts input from the top and it outputs on the side. Uh, on the right side, I think, only. Well, maybe the left. No, I think it's only on the right side. So, uh, we want to put the bones from the top so it gets in here. And then from the right side, we want to pull the bone meal. So from this side. So first off, we can put a filter right next to that. So this filter is going to pull out anything that comes in here, which will be all bone meal. And this should be connected. I'm not going to make it as small as that because that is not really easy to uh, to see, I think. So this connects to a condenser. Yep. So all the bone meal is going to get pulled out of this into this condenser. And we want this condenser to be making bones. Cool. Now, then we want to get all the bones from here. Uh, make it 64 if you can, by the way, it's better. But it doesn't really matter, actually. Uh, so we want to pull the bones out of this condenser and back into the macerator. So on the top here, like that. And that is your basic setup done. Yep, that's it. All you need to do now is put a timer up. Uh, so again, you can do it redstone dust as well. Uh, actually, I can show you for those because I have never shown how you, how to do that. It's kind of 
kind of basic, but it's really ugly as well. <laughs> so you can just do that and it'll sort of connect all of that. It's it's a bit ugly, but you know, it works. Uh, this is the more proper way of doing it, I think. So just jack a wire against that. Cool. So now if we put some bones in here, then we can get the process started. So let's uh, let's put some uh, wool in there. There we go. It's bones. And a... Oh no, it's going to wait till it has 64 bones in there. So that was not enough. We'll put a block of diamond in there. So bone goes in. The macerator will start macerating. Now it's not... It's very slow. And the filter will put it out into here. And then you need to have a pipe for the overflow. So this is the overflow. Make sure that the distance between the filter, this filter, and this condenser is shorter than the filter to the overflow chest. And the overflow chest will be making, I don't know, diamonds or anything you want to make. Uh, because the reason this works is um, in the red power tubes, they automatically go to the closest available location. So if this is the closest, it'll keep making bones till it's full. And once it's full, this is not a, a, an, um, an available location anymore. So it'll push it into here. Uh, and that's how it works. So then if you have multiple of these set up in a row, for example, uh, you only need one of these overflow chests. Unless you make so many that the overflow chest can't handle it, but that's not very likely, especially with bones. So yeah, that is a very simple bone to bone milled EMC generator. It's not the most efficient, but it's kind of cheap to make, you know. Um, you can even skip the energy condenser if you, if, if you can't afford it for some reason. Um, and just transmute it yourself. <laughs> like just get this in a chest and then transmute it yourself in the bones. I don't know if you're really low on resources, you can you could do that, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.